Welcome to the 11th Better Work Tasmania networking session, co-supported by the Employer of Choice and Safety Institute of Australia. I'm Pam Atkinson from WorkSafe Tasmania. And we have another great session of exciting speakers today to inform us about creating mentally safe and healthy workplaces, very important topic area. And so I'd like to quickly get on to introducing uh, the Honourable Elise Archer, MP, Speaker of the House. Elise has kindly offered to open the session today and uh, I'll leave her, give us, us some information. Thank you. Thanks, Pamela. And I'm not one of the exciting speeches, unfortunately, as per Pamela's description, but um, uh, welcome to you all here. I would firstly like to pay respect to the uh, original and traditional owners of this land, the Muanina people, to pay respect to those that have passed before us and to also acknowledge today's Tasmanian Aboriginal community who are the custodians of this land. I can see many uh, familiar faces in the room, particularly uh, some former legal colleagues. Um, uh, in a former life, um, employment law was my gig, so um, when Minister Barnett uh, said that he couldn't open this session, I sort of jumped at the chance to sort of uh, try and catch up with you all, but unfortunately I have to leave uh, because my diary's a little bit packed today. But I, I did want to obviously do the welcome session because I know that um, to get 100 people like this in the room and, and fairly much without twisting people's arms, as Pamela was saying, that it's a, obviously front and centre in people's minds and that is not only workplace health and safety but with a focus this year uh, particularly on uh, mental health. So um, congratulations to you all for coming along on such a beautiful Friday morning. Um, now I know that this is the 11th Better Work uh, Tasmania networking session um, and I expect most of you have taken time out of your busy working lives to attend this session. And also, as I've said, the fact that you're here tells me a number of things. Uh, firstly, that work, and health, work health and safety should be a priority in every business. Safe workplaces are more easily achieved when workers communicate with each other to identify hazards and risks. Talk about health and safety concerns, of course, and work together to find solutions and that your workplace can only be a better and more productive workplace if it's a safe workplace. So since its launch in 2015, which is not that long ago, uh, Better Work Tasmania has provided a consolidated source of information to Tasmanian employers and many others with, in, with an interest, of course, in work health and safety. Better Work Tasmania continues to provide its 1,000 strong members, so congratulations on that number already, uh, with a, a virtual meeting place to network, which of course you've already had a chance to do, but to also mentor and share your work uh, and also your health and safety and wellbeing resources and ideas. So between 2010 and 2015, the number of workplace injuries in Tasmania de decreased by 27%. So that's obviously a very encouraging result. And while continuing to reduce workplace injuries is important to the state government, it's not something we can do on our own, of course. Workplace health and safety is everyone's responsibility. So when employers, workers, government and of course the community work together with the same level of commitment, safer workplaces start to become a reality. However, to achieve this we of course need the help and support of every business in Tasmania and that's small, medium, uh, large, whether it's public or private. Better Work Tasmania provides an avenue for businesses to create networks by meeting regularly, which you're doing today, both face-to-face -face and online. Welcome to the online guests. And helping to support, assist and leverage off each other. Um, and as I've already alluded to, this year the focus will be on the health and community services sector, but particularly uh, with today's topic being creating mentally sorry, creating mentally safe and healthy workplaces, taking the next step. So hopefully this will provide you with the opportunity to experience active learning, drawing on the knowledge of an expert panel of keynote speakers. Uh, and we all know uh, that there is, are increased challenges in every workplace uh, faced by mental illness and how it's not always as easy to identify and particularly not easy to 
as easy to identify as a physical injury. So I'm sure you're all looking forward to hearing from today's keynote speakers, Dr Angela Martin, Stephen Dowling and David Dilger. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity to speak to you all today. Uh, I do hope that you uh, continue all of, your, uh, all of you having a strong commitment to workplace health and safety and particularly with this focus uh, on mental illness. So congratulations to you all again for turning up today and I hope that you have a very um, fruitful experience this morning and uh, obviously learning more about your areas of interest. So thank you.